what an incredible blessing it is for you to be listening to this today. Uh, not just because of how much I appreciate you taking the time to be here, to listen to this conversation, but because we have this access, we have this ability to learn from one another, to think that I'm sitting in an office, you know, in my home in Alberta, Canada, and you are wherever you are. Uh, we have listeners all over the world. It, it's such an incredible thing. And I, and I think that's something that we need to really celebrate, need to take advantage of. But I also think about how we tend to get really excited about people across the world, people sharing their ideas. But a lot of times we don't necessarily necessarily celebrate the people that are closest to us, the people that um, are across the hallway from us. And I'll give you an example uh, from my own time in education. I remember at one of my schools uh, where I was teaching at, they would do this uh, little award ceremony every single year to, to celebrate a teacher. And they did basically the teacher of the year. And one year it was, uh, they were doing this conversation. I was listening and I had a really good year. I was really proud of the work that I was doing. And I remember them talking and kind of describing the teacher that was about to be celebrated. And I'm thinking, I'm going to win. I'm going to win this, this award. And I was really excited about it. And then they actually gave it to someone else on my staff. And the first thing that I thought was not good for them or they deserved it. The first thing I thought was, that should have been me. Why wasn't it me? And I look back on that and I think of that teacher. And to be honest with you, he's no longer with us today. And he was an incredible teacher. He's an incredible mentor. He, he was an amazing educator and I looked up to him. And I'm not necessarily saying he wasn't deserving. I wasn't, I, none of that stuff. But instead of actually looking at all the things that he contributed to the school, all the things that he did, the first thing I thought about was why couldn't this be me? Why couldn't this, you know, and I, I felt a little resentment towards him at that time. And I, I think a lot of times when we point to this, we always point to like somebody had this towards me or maybe someone didn't else appreciate my work. But I think it's really important that I shared that story because it was like me having that feeling about someone else. We always point to maybe the negatives in other people, but then do we take a look and say like, are we being that person? Are we being that same feeling. And instead of like going up to him and celebrating him and giving him like a real, I probably congratulated him to be honest with you, but it was like, probably like, Hey, way to go, you know, made some like sarcastic comment. I didn't really authentically celebrate that moment. And you know, later I did. And this is a person that I learned a ton from person that I looked up to. And I think a lot about that. I think a lot about other instances where I felt the same way, where people didn't necessarily appreciate me in the places that I worked. And what that did for my confidence, what that did, you know, maybe some uh, resentment to maybe some of the places I worked because I didn't feel that. But I also have to be honest that I was that person to other people too. And are, are we that to each other? It is so amazing that we can celebrate people across the world, but it doesn't mean anything if we can't pe celebrate people across the hallway. Mm -hmm.